We've got some breaking news this morning about a brazen robbery. You can see it right here. It is rocking the NASCAR world. That's right. Someone stole a race car right out of a hotel parking lot. Granted, it was in that trailer. And Lindsay Dennis is here with new information from police on this case. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Paul and Dan. Overnight, police in Georgia say they found the stolen race car, telling us it was dumped not far from where it was taken. But who took it and why remains a mystery. This morning, this stolen $300,000 race car found after an extraordinary heist hit one of America's biggest sports. A first in NASCAR's history, this custom stock car gone in seconds on Friday morning, leaving racing team Extreme and driver Travis Quapple no choice but to drop out of Sunday's Sprint Cup race. When I got texts and voicemails this morning from the guys, I kind of thought they were messing around. The robbery at a Georgia hotel parking lot caught on surveillance camera. At 5.34 a.m. Friday, this 15-foot trailer hitched to a black pickup truck seen speeding off. Inside that trailer, according to Georgia police, car number 44, a Chevrolet, along with an extra engine and spare parts worth more than $100,000. It's a crazy story. The car, it's immaculate. I mean, you look at it, it's not like anything you're going to see on the street. It's definitely a uh, one of a kind. Quapple made headlines for his dude, where's my car moment overnight. But this morning, the extreme team tells ABC News the car was dumped 35 miles away from that hotel. Posting these photos on Twitter, the race car's owner, John Cohen, stunned by the brazen crime. When you get a car stolen, you go out and buy another one. A race car you have to build. Thankfully, that's a rebuild he won't have to start. Well, no damage to the car, but some of those spare parts are still missing. Our thanks to WSB, our station in Atlanta, for their help on this story. So the team's owner thinks that whoever stole it was after the trailer, didn't know what was inside. It's not exactly something you can easily shift, something that recognizes. Right. It is a You're large a trailer, but the what unfortunate part is the driver now can't race tomorrow because he missed qualifying. Right. And he probably only has one car. You know, a lot of these guys, the, the bigger teams, they have multiple cars. You can mm -hmm. just run in there. But uh, anyway, they're team. running in Atlanta tomorrow. That Atlanta Motor Speedway. Yes, they are. All right, thank you very much, Lynn, much Lindsay. And you know how I'm quiet on the NASCAR story. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't let him talk during yep. sports.